I guess each individual is going to deal with it the way they're going to deal with it. I get, you know, when it was kind of traumatic to be, you know, famous all of a sudden, especially coming from this complete obscurity and just being the like number one band in the world. So I do things like withdraw, drink, you know. I'm lucky I had beer and wine, you know. Kurt had heroin. Given how volatile and complicated things were for Kurt around that time, why do you think he chose that moment to um, start his relationship with Courtney? I went, I had uh, this relationship with this person, this woman, and I just kind of wanted to build this home for myself because my home growing up had fallen apart. So I wanted to build a home. And I think that Kurt wanted to do that too. He wanted to build a home because his home and his family fell apart. So when Courtney came into his life, they had, she was interesting, she was artistic, intellectual, and you know, she did drugs too, but that was all part of the package of building a home. <laughs> super cute, but he carried himself like someone who didn't know that. And that was part of the charm. He didn't know that he was a better looking guy than Brad Pitt. We got on like a house on fucking fire. One caveat, I had already done heroin, beat the thing, had a rule, I loved it still, but I didn't have a fantasy that he had. He had a fantasy. His fantasy was, I'm gonna get to $3 million and then I'm gonna be a junkie. That was his, those are his words. 